this is the problem we have as NFL fans, okay? And this is not just as Bengals fans. This is not just as whoever fan base you are. This is our problem right here. This last night was not called defensive pass interference. Kyle Pitts goes to the end zone, right? Goes for the ball. Number six, in no way does he ever look back for the football. He plays the receiver, does not play the ball. He gets there way too early, right? To Kyle Pitts. No DPI. And this is our problem as NFL fans. Because you look back at our game, right? You look back to that passing appearance, which it is what it is, against Anthony. And it's like, oh, that's blatant. That's blatant. That's obvious. So come on, man. That's obvious. But this is not P.I.? That That's not pass interference? Before the ball is even there, number six has his arms wrapped around Kyle Pitts. Almost to a point that he's tackling him before the ball even gets to his hands. Yet, we're crazy to say our play shouldn't have been called P.I. But this, this right here, was not called P.I. And I've seen a lot of Chiefs fans in the comment section of this saying, Oh, no, that's not P.I. That's not P.I. Really? Bro has his arm, his arm all the way wrapped around Kyle Pitt's stomach. Other arm literally blocking the whole front of his body. Bro. And again, is this just about the Chiefs here that is just a Chiefs problem? Listen, for most other teams, this would be called instantly. Okay? There are some teams I feel like this might not get called for, and it's not just the Chiefs. But, this is a favoritism. <laughs> you can't tell me this is not favoritism right here. Now, based on what I understand, because I did watch this game, the Chiefs were not getting the most favoring calls or the favorite stuff from the referees in this game. They really weren't. It's not like the refs were doing this all game. If you see this one play and you think this one play dictated how the whole game went for the Chiefs and how the refs were like, oh, yeah, we're just going to help out the Chiefs, that's not the case. Um... The referees actually, surprisingly enough, were not pro Chiefs in this game. But this is, again, we're looking at this in a vacuum because this is a problem. Okay? This is a problem entirely that this is, again, not called. Because you change a game for us and we lose a game because you say it's blatant pass interference. But yet, this isn't blatant. This isn't pass interference. I mean, it makes contact before the ball is there. Does not look back for the ball. Plays receiver, doesn't play ball. Um, Kyle Pitts cannot catch it. He stops the catching ability of Kyle Pitts. It's a catchable football. Bruh. Come on now. This is the problem we have. So to Chiefs fans who are like, Hey, you guys always complain. You guys always... Because we have reason to complain. Because we see crap like this and know that most teams do not get this type of call. We see crap like this and we know when it's a touchdown game last night and you guys win by less than a touchdown and yet this is the call that does not occur. This is the uh, call that does not happen yet you guys win the game because it doesn't happen. This is why we are so ticked off by you guys and the crap that you guys get away with. Like... <sighs> It's atrocious. It really is. It's, oh man. It is what it is, you know? And I hate to say that, but that's kind of what this is. We have a huge referee problem. We have a huge ref problem. But the fact is, it will not get fixed unless Roger Goodell sees it as a problem. And he doesn't see it as a problem because, as he said last year, when the Chiefs won the Super Bowl... Him and Chris Jones hugged, and he said, we did it. Because, yes, Roger Goodell, and this is not a meme or a joke, 
he's actually a Kansas City Chiefs fan. He's been a Chiefs fan his whole entire life. Like, even before he was Kamish, he was a Chiefs fan. So, he's going to be pro-Chiefs. Chiefs, excuse me. Can't speak today, apparently. But again, like I said, it's just stupid crap like this that... It ruins football. It really does. Because this should be DPI. Every single time. And I actually talked about my game last night about the Ratbirds playing the Cowboys. They caught DPI before halftime where CeeDee Lamb fell to the ground... Took down the cornerback when he fell to the ground, and they called defensive pass interference. When in reality, it wasn't. It was the guy fell to the ground, pulled the other guy with him by accident, and um, ended up the defense got called for that. But this is not called. The consistency is insanely bad in the NFL. Like, one thing is a PI call, blatant, obvious, that's PI, and the other thing is not called at all. And again, it's just, it's ruining games. It really is ruining games and it's just ruining football. But you know what? It's going to forever happen. Kansas City is 3-0. It, it is what it is. Do I think that this one moment would have gave the Falcons a win in the end? Probably not. The Falcons, I think the Chiefs are still a great team. And again, like I said, when I say all this crap right, I'm not sitting here saying the Chiefs are a bad team. They're not a bad team. They're a great team. They have a great quarterback. They have a great head coach. Hall of Fame head coach. Hall of Fame quarterback. Hall of Fame tight end. Like, I'm not sitting here to try to be a hater, Chiefs fans. I'm really not. Okay? I might dislike you because of our personal beef. But when it comes to your team, I can respect you guys are amazing. I can respect you guys are absolutely S plus to your team. And again, I don't think this is an exclusive thing where the Chiefs try to get the referees. This isn't collusion. I don't think this is collusion on the team side. I think this is a problem with the NFL. And it needs to be fixed and it needs to, you know, get corrected. But when crap happens like this on Sunday Night Football in front of everybody, it just ruins the product of the game. It really does. Um, but yeah, so that's a thing. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you're going to disagree. Well, Chiefs fans are going to disagree with me 100%. But Bengals fans. Am I crazy? Like, bruh. Th th this is just a countless problem that's been happening for so damn long that... It just ruins football, man. Just ruins football, but it is what it is. And I can see the first Chiefs fan who's going to comment and say, Cry harder. But, um... Cope harder or some crap like that. They say I don't know. They say some stupid crap like that. But tell me down below your thoughts, opinions.